Stack Goblets, Two, maybe in Esports history. Wrong. But nonetheless, we're going into game number one here, Kaina versus Sandstorm on Demon Island. And it's a redemption bracket match, perhaps the strongest in history versus the strongest of today. Can Kaina continue on this no-hitter, or will Sandstorm prove that these gods can bleed? And Kaina already starting off big here with the hammer, yet to been hit, be hit really as the side air comes in. The weapon toss as well, and almost getting the zero to KO there. Unfortunately, okay. can't capitalize there. The downline into down there didn't find its connection, but still a good spot for Kaina. Sandstorm getting the side air there. Another side air connects, going for the GC downline in an attempt to catch Kaina jumping back to the stage. Hasn't really found any reach to work out though, but finds the inaction, but... Okay, Kaina with some good momentum keeping this going right here. Chase Dodge comes through. Not too much after that. Sandstorm just desperately fishing for anything right now. Boots come through with the big signature. Not gonna find too much more after that. Dash hopping around, finally finds the hit. Active input with the switch shop and getting the side switch off the right side as well. Can he get the edge guard? No, gravity cancel. D-Light will not connect though. Sandstorm can't get it and Kaina a bit more momentum now under his wings. Nice pick up there, but unfortunately not enough to KO. Sandstorm scouring in one at that. Axe in hand, looking to create this juggle state we were talking about in the godly set so well and already starting off great down like Nair as well. Sandstorm though, fighting through that juggle, getting some footing on the ground and really running away with it. We need to see these boots come online though. We need to see I've these seen this movie before, oh PJ. Look that's, at that, this from so Kaina. You gotta be kidding me right now. Can't close just an easy end light to find the stock easily now. Going for this end light or the down light, anything for Kaina here on the axe and dashes forward. Cat from falling to his last stock already in this first game. The down air comes in there. GC side light can't find its connection. Sandstorm with a big pick up there on the gauntlet. Going for the side stick, trying to read a dodge in place. Didn't find it there. The side air sends off Seizo as Kaina in a pretty bad spot on Demon Island. Very short wall, but Sandstorm has to be careful because in a moment Kaina can flip it. No extension on the edge guard, but still forcing Sandstorm to respect him just that much more. Yeah, trying to read high angles right here. And like you said in the previous set versus oh. Godly, Sandstorm will find it off of that. Yeah, and an axe getting cycled here for Kaina. The end light comes in, catching Sandstorm, dashing around in the right side of the stage. Sandstorm flipping the recovery around to catch Kaina a little bit more damage. No JV for sure, down like Nair. Goes for the Nair as well, trying to catch Sandstorm, jumping away uh -oh. or dodging up. Uh-oh, okay. Up there, but Kaina, Kaina just get off me, okay? Big Taro Sig, not enough to KO. Coast to coast, Ooh, goes for no the down way. Line, Hits the down line, but doesn't get the recovery afterward. That would have been the end of the game. Sandstorm with another lease at life, but the end like... Two, Kaina's just able to one, take over a game so quickly. We are not seeing a legend swap quite yet for Sandstorm. I don't know if we'll get one, period. Tesca is still the legend of choice right now. So the down there, there from Sandstorm getting a pickup. Side light to Usher Kaina off stage, but Kaina is just so confident, and Sandstorm is reading a lot of vertical options. <gasps> what a wait! Fighting the wall. Okay, just for a little bit more damage right there. Sandstorm just in Kaina's head in terms of finding these dodge patterns. Still pushing off the left side right now. Can he get a full stock for it? Kaina re-equips though after the weapon toss. Dodges through, Sandstorm gets the recovery. It's exhausted, but not enough to get the KO. Sandstorm went for a big call out there, trying to catch Kaina dashing in the corner. Can't find it there, They're down there. The Connection, once and knowing that Kaina was gonna use that time where he thought Sandstorm was still in end lag, to go back to center stage. Really crafty stuff from Sandstorm. And what we like, like to that, see, though. but a ground pound But just like that, no! Combo real quick. Kaina once again in the jungle state right now. Sandstorm just cannot touch the ground for at least a moment. Now he gets a little action started with these boots once again on the left side. Catches out of the sky. Does he go for the high angle? He calls it out. There it is. Gravity cancel doesn't connect though. The edge guard forges onward. Sandstorm cannot be stopped oh right God. now. And he continuously hitting him off stage. And you see there, no flashing, no fireworks. Just hitting him until he couldn't make it back on his there own. There it is again. Back. The jump. Three. That's a triple side air as Kaina has sweat beads. Doesn't punish the side air back to center stage, but Sandstorm is covering Kaina's landing so well. The attempts to recover high have not been working well for Kaina. We gotta go low here. Sandstorm fighting in the corner. Okay. Kaina going for the big reversal. Didn't find it there. It's back to center stage. Waiting once again. These boots were made for walking, but they're also made for breaking ankles sometimes too. And stake taking some stocks as well. Kaina with a little bit of momentum right here. Does he go for ground pound? Not gonna get too much after that. GC into what looked like a side light, I believe. Comes through, does not connect. Big swing comes out from Kaina as well. Covers with the weapon toss. Oh, Try this damage is really nothing. Less than a hundred. Might work for a legend like Taros as we start off the juggle there. The down like tries to go for the nair, didn't find it there. Getting sent off stage. Down light into down air, not enough to KO outright, but sets up a perfect spot for That'll another do. down air. Guy versus Satchel, oh. he's going to call you out. I want to see Kaina kind of leaning into the low recovery, but a lot of that comes down to if Kaina can find comfortability on this hammer. Yeah. I feel like Sandstorm as a player, if he can start getting these reads correct, 
one after another. That is all the momentum he needs to take this across the finish line. But once again, I mean, Kaina is here for a reason as well. Let's see what happens here in this game three. I was talking about finding comfortability in the hammer once again, and Kaina showing that here. Downlight into Siders and Sandstorm away. No recovery from Sandstorm. Fighting back with the jump again. Doesn't Gets even need it. Cuts it off early. Is that enough? No, it's not. He didn't go for the tap in there with the GC downlight. Instead, we just see him grab some gauntlets. Kaina with the jungle going for the side there. Trying to catch Sandstorm haphazardly landing back onto the stage. The Nair sends away once again. Kaina with the juggles holds true here. First time no Demon Island in quite a while as well. That soft platform hasn't been helping Sandstorm and that Ooh. down there will potentially Got it off the wall. GC sidelight into the stage. It's not enough. Kaina gets back. Has the axe and had the weapon advantage still to Sand to Kaina, but Kaina. No punish though on the landing. Kaina was sweat beating. Okay, it does. Shadow Boots online. The reason he was able to win this last game. Kaina. Once again, swinging with no, there's no, it's not fruitful. He's not finding anything on this hammer and the boots are absolutely picking it apart. Yeah, and I mean, on the right side right there, just to rewind for a moment, you saw, like you said, a little bit safer to recover low when you have the hammer equipped versus the axe right there. Kaina was able to weave around. Still playing on the Whoa. back, but just sending it with the elbow drop off stage. Weapon tosses and nothing there, but you're up a stock, so why not go for it? Kind of getting the juggles going here. That soft platform is not going to do any favors to Sandstorm as you lose that very crucial option to land with a button when you're above that soft platform. And light sends away. They're going for the big SIG call out on a jump. Kind of didn't give it a little <gasps> bit too high. The side air. It hit off the wall. It, it hit kind of off the wall. Sandstorm trying to cover. Kind of going high that time. Sandstorm knowing the high, rec uh, high recovery as well. Going for that downlight towards the wall. Really smart stuff. Nice. But there just covers a jump back to the wall. Sandstorm seemingly just completely knowing how Kaina wants to recover on this axe. Sandstorm now taking a bit of a lead. Kaina fishing for the stomp right now. Able to get it stomps there. Enough. Yeah, Sandstorm definitely not happy about that. Stock loss is Kaina just able to find that one hit. Axe into the unarm. A scary spot to be in. And Sandstorm picking up the gauntlets here, which haven't found a lot of success into the axe. Looking to change that narrative here, though. The downlight sends up. Sandstorm getting a downlight into end light. Going for the side air there. Trying to cover Kaina. Going for a low recovery Kaina, or high recovery. Kaina goes low there, though. Yeah, and I mean, it's been pretty rare. We've seen Sandstorm just not weapon toss in some yeah. of these positions because he's hard calling out the high jumps from Kaina. That juggle state is lethal, though. We've said it before in some of these other sets from Kaina. Here comes Sandstorm with the boots. Down air sends Sandstorm in place. The end light sends off stage. Sandstorm holding the wall for dear life. Finds a way back to center. Wait. Flips the situation. Cider from Kaina having to go for the high recovery. Sandstorm doesn't risk it, though. Doesn't want to get reversal by that axe down air. With punish, no. Oh, Kaina it. just gets the stock out. Very. One. Important match, of course, Sandstorm wanting to force this game five, but man, the implications are major as the Battle Boots come online from Sandstorm, immediately calling out the high recovery once again. That's the one thing that Battle Boots is going to be exceptionally good at doing, just ushering you off stage and then covering those high recoveries. Unscathed right now, gets to patrol the weapon spawn after a bit of a fortunate position as well, but both members equipped right now with boots and axe. Sandstorm, Sandstorm, off stage. Okay, doesn't want to commit. Goes for the high side air there. Picks up the weapon toss behind Kaina. Kaina able to avoid that side take. That could have been very, very bad. And like send Sandstorm back to center stage. Downlight into Nair. Big juggle here. Sandstorm dodging that side air. Goes for the ground pound. Is Kaina who gets whip punished big as Sandstorm gets so much damage on these gauntlets. Goes for the downlight. Goes too deep in. Kaina with a get off me sig. It connects. Sandstorm in a terrible spot for the weapon toss. Gives him one more chance here at this stock. A side light oh. into recovery. Doesn't find its KO. But a side air. Not quite enough either. Kaina unarmed Sandstorm oh, he just as well. Taps the side it air. In. That's nothing left in the tank. Oh, you just man. go for ground pound, but Kaina weaving that one around, tries to do slide off into stomp right there, scooping around for the edge guard position as well, but Kaina walls up online. But Sandstorm just holding a little too close to the stage. Kaina jumping up with that side air, finding that sock. Sandstorm looking to create this horizontal stage presence we saw in this game, and that game number two. Okay, do or die position for Sandstorm right here. We have seen these boots go to work a tremendous number of times in these three games alone. Kinda scary position now. Just a dare. Sandstorm playing around the soft platform right there. Kinda not biting with any of it. How does he just position around? Oh, of course, it's man. the scoop back to get him. One of the biggest leads we've seen in the set so far. Sandstorm has his work cut out for him if he wants to force this game five. Kinda high recovery once again, getting called out by Sandstorm. But Kinda's been a lot better at avoiding those really long strings for it. Or for the side air there. Sandstorm with the whip punish sends off stage, but. Actually puts himself off stage, kind of dodging immediately on the first beat, getting out of this vortex of of uh, battle boot hitboxes, kind of with the axe online, looking for some control in the center stage.
but okay. it's so back and forth as Satchel able to flip again. the situation. Another side air looking for cover? a third here. Does he cover? Ground pound. Oh, he waits, but kind of reverses, just gets around it, finds center stage, also equips the hammer as well. There's Stomp Sair. Next one's going to be real close, especially on this left side position right oh, there. Gravity it. cancel Stomp Sair is enough to do it, and just like that, kind of closes this one out three to one.